Hey, hey, Ro here coming at you again with another amazing workout. Today, we're going to feel the heat. Doesn't that sound fun? I think it sounds fun. Make sure you have some bands with you today. All we need today is the loop bands, the mini loop bands, either the fabric ones, the rubbery silicone ones, whatever they are. Uh, whichever ones you have on hand work amazing um, you know have some we're gonna work today so if you have a few different strengths they come in like usually light medium heavy if you have extra heavy sometimes if you have a few different ones then we can really start playing around with them and really progress before we do that though we got to warm up join me on the ground <laughs> Join me on the ground. We're going to get started with our warm up. We're going to warm up first with just a nice easy bird dog. We did them yesterday. You know how to do them. We just reach one arm forward and the opposite leg back and then we pull it in. Let's do it together. Come and join me. We're just going to do this for about 30 seconds. And what are we warming up here? We're really getting into the posterior chain. We're getting into our lower back. We're getting into our glutes. How are your glutes feeling after yesterday? <laughs> you should be feeling them a little bit. All right, we're working on our core, tightening our core, focusing on our stability and our balance and our control. So there's no wobbles as we go side to side, as we change, really focus on the anti-rotation. And we're almost there. In three, in two, and in one, perfect. All right, and it also just helps to get our mind in the game, right? That's a big part of the warm up too. One leg in front of the other. All I'm gonna do here, I'm kneeling. All I'm gonna do here is sit forward. Notice even as I'm sitting forward, I'm just pushing this back hip through, feeling a wonderful open in that hip flexor, but my knee is still not passing my ankles. I'm not going to like here, okay? So my knee is still over top of the ankle. I'm gonna sit forward, and then I'm gonna press back a little bit. Now I'm gonna open up in the back of my leg. We're gonna do this as a dynamic move, so come and join me. We're just gonna rock it forward and back. Make sure that you have something under underneath that supporting knee. If you need to fold a towel over, if you need to fold a mat over, have something underneath that knee, not like on your hardwood floor. <laughs> all right, so all I'm doing is I'm rocking forward and back. I'm warming up my hip flexor, warming up my ankle joints, our knee joints, getting into our quads, getting into our hamstrings. We're just pressing it forward and back. We're almost there, <laughs> almost there on this side. We got three, two, and one, wonderful. We're gonna go into the same thing on the other leg. Again, make sure there's something underneath that supporting me. And we're just rocking it forward and back. Let's do it, forward and back. We're moving dynamically. We're just starting to warm those muscles up. We're starting to warm the joints up. So don't force it. Don't like press farther than your comfort zone, okay? We don't wanna like uh, into it, you know what I'm saying? Just really easing into it. We're just getting the body ready. Today is all about feeling the heat. And we are gonna be bringing it today. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing. All right, next one, thread the needle. We're gonna get into more of the upper body here. So we're gonna be in a child's pose in our legs. Again, child's pose, you want those knees separated a little bit so you have some room to get down. What we're gonna be doing here, start first up. Okay, we're in that kind of um, quadruped position. Taking one arm, we're gonna thread it underneath the other arm. So I'm like threading the needle, putting one arm underneath the other arm, really reaching and getting low into that shoulder. Then we come back up and we go to the other side. Moving through it dynamically, let's go. So we press that arm through and we come back up again. And then we go to the other side, pressing it through. Come on, that feels amazing, yeah. It's like we're looking under our couch. <laughs> We're trying to find some treasures underneath the couch. What can you find under there? <laughs> and then come back up. We go down and then we come back up. We're warming up our shoulders. We're warming up our arms. We're warming up our back. And it feels amazing, yeah? Getting all ready to go. Five more seconds here. Four, three, two, and one. Perfect. On your feet, please. It's time to get up. Okay, we got one more move for you in our warm up. Then we're gonna get the party started. We're gonna do some jacks. You can jump these, you can tap them. So here is our tapping. 
arms and legs go out and in together or of course the traditional jumping jack we're going for 30 seconds in three in two let's go so we can either jump it yes arms and feet go out and in at the same time or you can tap it it's 30 seconds we are jacking it out all right perfect and we're already halfway done the 30 seconds goes fast we are gonna feel the heat today so let's get that body warmed up get the mind ready to go we're almost there we have eight more seconds I'm gonna jump with you the last eight I am you know if you've been tapping maybe try jumping a few knees are soft on the balls of your feet three two and one rest okay we're warm right we're ready to go perfect grab your loop band put it around your ankles to start first please light medium light medium we are going to do two sets of work i'm going to start with light for my first set i'm probably going to up it to medium now when you put the band on please either be sitting lean on a lean on a chair or something or just step into it but you'll notice how i have the band like on the ground as i'm stepping in i'm not like trying to balance and yank it all the way up okay around our ankles around your calves Here's what's gonna happen. I have one, two, two rounds of, I had to look at my notes. <laughs> two rounds of work for you today, and then a super special burnout at the end. For two rounds of work, I'm gonna give you four moves in each. Move number one is 60 seconds, two is 45, number three is 30, number four is 15. I will talk you through all that. Don't worry about it, just know what's coming. Move number one, lateral walks. Same thing as we did yesterday, only now I've changed your position on your band. Last day we had them above our knees, now we're around our ankles, okay? So we can get a little bit wider. Press into that band, really extend it, press into it. We're walking side to side. Booty is back, chest is lifted, knees are not passing the toes. Again, we're not here, we're here. Yes, 60 seconds, three, two side to side let's go all right so i have my light band on right now so i have a big stretch that i gotta take depending how heavy how tight your band is is going to determine how big side to side you can step but we are all staying low i'm gonna up this to my medium band for round number two and it's gonna burn we want it to burn today Oh, we're halfway there. Are you feeling it yet? Stay low. Hey, get a little lower even. Get a little bit lower. Chest is lifted. I'm not here. Don't do that. That's not the move. Chest is lifted. Eyes are up. Smile on face. <laughs> oh, feel the burn. It should be burning. You should be feeling this right in those glutes, in your hips. Get a little bit lower. We have eight seconds. Breathe in through it. Feel the heat. Run towards that burn. Four, three, two, and one. Tell me you felt that. If you did not feel that, you weren't pressing into your band enough, you gotta, you gotta go for it. We're feeling the heat today. Forward and back is your next move. So here's what's gonna happen. I call these duck walks. <laughs> Same idea, we're kind of in that squat position. We know the knees aren't gonna pass the toes, right? I'm gonna step it forward, heel toe. Again, tapping it in, heel toe. Then I'm gonna go back, toe heel, toe heel, toe heel. So I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see. Forward, forward, then I go back, toe heel, toe heel. Ready? Let's do it together. Heel toe heel toe stay low toe heel toe heel now take a couple to kind of get the feeling if the heels and the toes are throwing you off just step it forward and back it's just a step tap step tap chest is lifted yes getting lower my legs are never straightening i'm getting in there also i am walking on railroad tracks so my feet are not like together i'm not on a tightrope i'm walking on railroad tracks Pressing into that band, getting a little bit lower. This move is only 45 seconds, so we are almost there. We have less than 10 to go. Burn it, burn it, feel it. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, dropping the band to the ground and then stepping out of it. Here we go. Oh, how do your legs feel when you step out of that band? We're going into the upper body. I love this move. It's crazy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, 
is put the band around my wrist. Now, if you're wearing a watch, it might get a little bit in the way. If you're not wearing a watch, you can kind of fit it on a little bit better. But, you know, we do what we gotta do because we gotta keep our watches on, right? Okay, tension in the band. We're doing a hammer curl. So the idea here, we are pressing those shoulders down. The elbows are staying pinned into your side. We're going to curl up and we're going to control down. Thinking about, ten, my hands are shaking already. Tension in the band. This is our 30 second move. Get your band on. Timer says it's time. Two and one, here we go. We're curling it up and controlling it down. Curling it up, look at my tempo. I'm not like powering and dropping, I'm controlling it. I am pulling that band apart with my wrists. My elbows are pinned to my sides, pressing my biceps into my rib cage. So your whole upper arm, are you shaking yet? Whole upper arm is pressing in. Chest is lifted, we've got four, Three, two, and one, oh, rest. Right in here, my friends. If you weren't feeling it in here just yet, it's okay. It takes some time to get that mind-body connection, but that's where I want you putting your mind when we're in that move. And it's really, it's all about right here. Yeah, it's right here. I'm not even holding a band or a weight. Use your mind, it's your most powerful muscle. That was fun. We're keeping the van in the same spot. This is our 15 second move. We're gonna do 15 on the right, 15 on the left. 15 on side one and side two. We're mirroring, it sometimes goes weird, my right, your left, your right, doesn't matter. So we're gonna do both sides, don't worry. What I'm gonna do here, same idea, pulling apart on that band. I'm gonna have my arm down. This leg is not going to move. The only leg that's moving is the one that my arm is down on. All I'm gonna do here, reach it up to the ceiling, still pulling apart in that band and down. Again, this leg here is going turn back, turn back. This leg, my knee is tracking over my toe but not past, staying still. 15 seconds each side. Are you ready? Pull apart on that band, strong, reach it up to the corner. Two and one, reach it up and then control it down. I've got some power, power it up. Use your core, man, power it up. Controlling it down, power it up. Controlling it down, powering it up and controlling it down. We've got two and one, wonderful. Other side, now this leg is turning. Other side, let's go. Power it up, controlling it down. Powering it up, control. My core is tight. I'm pulling that band apart, up, and controlling it down. We're swinging up and controlling it down. We got four, three, two, and one. Nice. It's like we're like hay baling. We're like throwing that hay over our shoulders. We're like throwing the hay. We're hay baling. Okay, breathe, rest, recover. Hair in my mouth. Here's what's going to happen. <laughs> we're doing those same moves one more time through. I said I was going to do it. Dang it, so I guess I better do it. I'm going to up it. If that wasn't challenging for you, those four moves, we got to up our weights, friends, or we got to up our bands. Okay. So we're putting the band again around our ankles. Notice how I put it down and then stepped in. I didn't like try to balance on one leg and do all this weird stuff. You can sit down if you need. Safety, putting that band on. Okay, <sighs> grab some hydration if you need. We're gonna do those same four moves, same timing, 60, 45, 30, 15, same thing over again. Okay, get your band on. Side to side, lateral walks. Chest is lifted, squatting it down, let's go. Okay, so now if you were watching me from the first set to the second, you'll notice my band is way tighter this time. Is yours? Yeah? Open it. Press into it. You're going to get out of this workout what you put in. Sure, you can just be like, la, la, la. We can go through this workout like this. You're going to get out of it what you put into it. Pull apart, use the power from the tension in that band. It doesn't matter how many steps side to side we're taking, use your space as long as we're going side to side and feeling that burn. Are you feeling it? Should be feeling that burn. Oh, we got 15 seconds to go. Get lower, get lower. Chest is lifted, booty is back. Those knees are not passing our toes. <sighs> We're almost there. Feel the burn, feel the burn, feel the heat. That is this workout. Four, three, two, and one. 
that was like almost to failure there. <laughs> they didn't want to keep moving. Duck walks, forward and back, on railroad tracks. So we're not like stepping one in front. We're like, you know, railroad tracks, hip width. Three, two, let's go. Heel toe, heel toe, toe heel, toe heel. Now, if that's confusing you, just step and tap forward and back. It's all good. I actually want to just pull this down just a smidge. Adjust your band as needed to make sure you're getting the most out of these workouts. Now, your knees might want to start caving in. Keep them strong. Keep those knees heading straight over those toes, but not past. We're almost there. We're almost there. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, band comes off. Okay, drop the band down and then step on out of it. Back to our hammer curls. Are we having fun yet? Yeah? <laughs> Makes me so happy. All right, hammer curls, get ready. Pull apart on that band. Elbows are pinned, press into your ribs. Let's go. Curling it up, control. Your mind is your most powerful muscle. Put your mind into your biceps right now. Pull apart on that band. Feel it work. Feel the shake. Feel the heat in your arms right now. They are fired up. Wonderful. Elbows, they shouldn't be moving. The whole top part of your arms should not move. Four, three, two, and one. Come on, it's so fun. It's, it's, it's so fun. All right. Having your arm down, this is the leg that's moving that your arm is down. We're gonna throw that hay. This leg stays still. All right, in three, two, let's go. Throw it up and come on down. Up, 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 pull apart. Shoulders are down. Press your shoulders down. Tighten your core. Ah, oh, yeah, tighten your core. We got three, two, and one. Let's change sides. Here we go. Up and down, up and down up and down so that leg is turning in and it comes back out turning in and back out two and one and rest we made it through round one friends that was full body we worked core we worked upper we worked lower we worked some cardio you have a minute break grab some hydration i talk a lot i need to drink <laughs> okay round number two Round number two is all on the ground. Four more moves, down we go. So have a seat. Do I want my medium band? I might regret this, but I'm gonna take this one. My heavy band in these fabric ones, they're really tight. Like if you're using the thinner silicone ones, they're not quite as tight. So when I say medium band, if you're in like the silicone ones, dude, you gotta like up it. You can even double them up if you need. They're much lighter than the fabric ones. Okay, so they like pull much easier. So it's a really big difference. Move number one, leg raises. We are gonna do 60 seconds each side. You might curse me a little, but we're gonna do it anyways. So I have my band just above my knees. I'm on my elbow, my shoulder is strong. All I'm gonna do here is lift my leg. That's it, lift my leg. All right, come and join me. Let's talk about this. We're here for 60 seconds, so we'll talk about this as we go. Join me. So what's going on here? I have energy shooting out through my heel. Now, I'm not doing like a giant Jane Fonda, like kicking up, like just enough to put pressure, tension into this band, and we're just really firing up our glute med. We're just really firing up in our hips, in our glutes. All right, now I'm not falling forward, falling back. Like my body is strong, perpendicular to the ground. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Okay, are you ready to have some fun? Because we have 25 seconds left. We're gonna hold, hold. My leg is shaking, I hope yours is too. Feel the heat. Energy shooting out through that heel. Try to pull your toes towards your nose. Pull them, pull them. We got 10 seconds left, we're gonna pulse it higher. Small pulses, 10 seconds left. Feel that heat, feel the burn, higher and higher, higher and higher, two and one. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So flipping it over, you're welcome by the way, for this workout. Feel the heat, strong in that shoulder, legs are stacked. Okay, let's go, up and down, 
up and down. Now, even when I come down, I'm not like coming all the way down and like clunking down. I'm controlling it down. I'm really holding on tight to these muscles that are fired up and I'm just working it. Yes? Pull your toes towards your nose so your foot is flexed. That heel, energy shooting through that heel. Yeah. You will find that one side is probably stronger than the other. This one is my weaker side. So we may get to failure here. We're more than halfway done though. We're more than halfway done. We got 25 seconds. That means it's time to hold it up. This is my weak. Can you see my leg shaking? Is your leg shaking? Hold it. Hold it. We're going to pulse it higher. We're going to pulse it higher. Let's go. We got 10 seconds left. Pulse it higher, higher, higher. Feel the heat. Four, three, two, and one. <laughs> that was epic. All right, flipping it over. Oh, don't worry, we are going to give a good booty stretch when we're done, but we can just take a quick child's pose if you need for a mini stretch in the booty. Next move is called booty bow. Let me make sure that's what we're doing. Yes. So what we're going to do here is draw like a rainbow with our toe. Draw a rainbow with your toe. So going to be on our quad ped position. Shoulder is right over top of our wrist. Hip is right over top of your knees. Strong back. We're not ever going to like arch our back. We're keeping that core braced and the back nice and flat. Eye gazes forward. That was a lot to think about, wasn't it? Did you catch it all? I'll talk you through it. Don't worry. So what I'm going to do here is toe out to one side up and over, tapping to the other side, up and over. Again, depending on your band, this is a tight band. I can't move it too much. Depending on how tight your band is, I want you really adding that tension. 45 seconds each leg. Let's go. Up and over. Now, I talked briefly about that flat back position. Do not allow your back to arch and do not allow your upper body to move. What loves to happen in this move is like an arch and then like a crunch in. That's not the move here. I want your upper body staying as still as possible. Yes, All right, I gotta keep turning a little to check that timer, but I want you looking down ahead of your hands, up and over, up and over. Burn the booty, hamstrings are firing up a little bit, but there is no arch in your back. Your core is braced. It's working. Three, two, and one. Just in time. <laughs> Perfect. That was so much fun. All right. Same thing. Other leg. Are you ready for this? Other leg. Okay. Now the good news is we only go through this one time because we're doing each leg. Okay. I'm watching that timer. Up and over. Let's go. Up and over, tap it, up and over. We go up and over, tapping it down, up and over. Feel the strength in your upper body. So don't let it like crunch in and like do weird moving or arching in your back. Doesn't feel good. Up and over, up and over, up and over, up and over. We're halfway done. We're almost there. We're sculpting, we're strengthening, we are feeling the heat. Now you will probably also feel your supporting hip burning right now too, because we have really worked it. So both hips are working right now. Four, three, two, and one. Oh, take a quick stretch. Friend, you are doing awesome. Okay. Next move is a bird dog crunch. Now, we've done these ones a couple of times in our warm-ups, so we're, we're familiar with the bird dog. Difference now is I've got you with a band on, and I'm gonna add in a crunch, which also means we're gonna stay on one side. We're gonna do 30 seconds each side. I'm giving you a moment to <laughs> recover and rest that booty for just a moment. So our bird dog, we extend, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my hand into my other leg. So I'm going to pull knee to elbow and crunch, fire up in the core, press my belly button to my spine, and then extend back out. 30 seconds each side. Are you ready? <laughs> Am I ready for this? <laughs> Stay strong. So we go from the back to the front, from the back to the front. In two, in one, let's get it. Extend, now crunch, pull, 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 crunching it in, can you hear how tight my core is? We extend, move with control here. This is not a fast 
move, but try to have constant movement, extending it out again, not arching through that back. We're just making that nice flat tabletop. So we're not arching to try to see how high we can reach. We're just extending it out. Four, three, two, we're going right to the other side. Change sides, extend and pull, 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 pull crunching it in. We extend. And then we pull, 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 crunch it in. We extend. We having fun yet? Pull, 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 crunching it in. Good. So really keep reaching it out, pressing into that band. We go extend, extend, extend. We got five, four, three, two, and one. I'm going to get this last crunch. Oh. Are we feeling the heat a little bit? Good, final move, we have 15 seconds, but we are gonna do it twice, because we've done everything else twice. This one is only a one side, or it's a two side. Hip dips. I'm gonna give you a couple options here. Option number one, if you're still working on your plank, then you're just holding strong in your plank for 15 seconds, and that's totally cool. Um, shoulders right over top of the elbows, eye gaze forward, hips tucked under, this, not a plank. Okay, <laughs> pulling it down. The actual move is a hip dip. So what we're gonna do is drop our hips to one side, lift them, pull them to the other side, and up. We're gonna do this two times, 15 seconds each. We'll have a quick break in between because this is a hard move. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm fired up. I'm ready to do this. All right, we go in three, in two. Let's get it. Dip it side to side. So I have my feet about hip width apart. So I'm really using my feet here to help guide side to side. My feet are dipping down along with my hips. This is crazy core. We're almost there. Two and one. Okay, child's pose, take a quick break. Whew. Child's pose and breathe. Let's do it again, one more time. Just hold that plank if you need. We're holding plank or we're dipping it. Let's go. Ha ha ha. This is 15 seconds left. We're almost there. Almost there. And then I have a super fun burnout for you. Because why not? We're feeling the heat today. We got to burn it. We got to burn it. We're done in three, in two, and in one. Ah, oh, wonderful. Okay. Take a moment. We're going to take that band off. Okay. I have a bit of a burnout for you here. This is an EMOM burnout. What that means, every minute on the minute. Every minute on the minute, we start again. I'm gonna give you two moves to do. Did you take your band off? We don't need it for our burnout. You can wear it if you want, if you're crazy, actually. If you've done this work a couple times and you're like, eh, I want a little more, wear the band. Okay, eight glute bridges, eight squats. That is your move. I kind of wish I was wearing my band now. Okay, eight glute bridges. So we talked about our glute bridge before. It's actually gonna feel pretty funny now that we've taken the band off. Then we come up quick because we go right away into eight squats. Yes, I actually want you to feel that one without the band. So do it at least once without the band. Then you can add it back if you need. Every minute on the minute, we start again. We're going for three minutes, so three rounds. If you do it super fast, you might earn a break. You might be like, yeah, I got 30 seconds. I'm going to chill. If you take your time in it, you might not get a break. That's the point. Get down. Every minute on the minute, I'm watching that timer. We go in three, in two. Let's get it. Eight glute bridges. You go on your own time. So count for yourself. Count them out. Count them out. I'm at five, six, seven. It's hard for me to not count for you guys. But go on your own time. If you need to go faster than me, if you need to go slower than me, it's all good. Eight squats. We got this. We got this. We are almost halfway. Keep it going. Eight glute bridges, eight squats. Wonderful. How'd you do? I'm done. 25 seconds left. Yeah? If you're still in it, that's totally cool. You take your time. You make, them, you make it good. You make it good. We have 15 seconds left. Breathe, rest, recover. We're going to do that same thing two more times. I'm going to head down to the ground. Option is with the band or without. But I do want you to feel the freedom once we lose that tension. Okay. Three, two, count it for yourself, eight of each. Let's go. It's hard for me to like try to be quiet. I can do this. Reach your hips up, reach them up. Wonderful. When you're done those eight, 
on your feet. Here we go. <laughs> now keeping that chest lifted the whole time. Keep it lifted, counting through it. I talk and count in my head. I hope I do it right. There you go. Okay, I made it through. Halfway. 30 seconds. You got 30 more seconds. Breathe it out. Breathe it out. Are we feeling the heat? Yeah? Now we're getting some cardio in it too. Heart rate should be coming up. We're having some fun. Okay, we have 15 seconds left. We're going to do that one more time. Earn your rest. It's fun to have a break too. Earn it. Okay, we go in. Four, three, two, final set. Count them out. Make them good. Resist. Don't just drop. Don't just drop. Enjoy the movement. <sighs> I'm almost there. Wonderful. Okay. Now on your feet. Once you finish that eight, on your feet. Join me in some squats. Yeah. All the way to the end. All the way to the end. This is our final move for today. We are feeling the heat. Oh, I may have lost count. I may have lost count. It's all good. I think that was eight, but I'm going to do one bonus one just to be sure. Okay, you got 30 seconds. Nope, 20 seconds left. 20 seconds. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. I'm going to give you your full minute here in case you're going at your pace. You have your full 60. Okay. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. I'm going to fist pump you for that one. Pump it. I can feel you. I can feel you. Come on. Pound it. And come closer even. Pound it. <laughs> nice. All right, join me on the ground. I want to give you a little bit of a booty stretch after that workout. <laughs> okay, little bit of a booty stretch because we worked. All right, lying on the ground. I'm going to cross one leg over top of the other. I have my right crossed over my left. Now, this might be a stretch for you depending on your flexibility. I'm trying to just kind of press that knee away. Now, if you're not really feeling much yet, if you are, I want you to stay here. If you want to go a little bit deeper, reach through and pull your left thigh in. Just breathe through it. Just breathe through it. Relaxing your back. Feel your whole spine pressing into the ground and pulling in. Now, if you want to go even deeper from this, we're going to pull the left thigh in, but I'm going to use my right elbow and I'm going to press my right knee away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, right glute. <laughs> Wonderful. Another breath here. Just breathing through it. Wonderful. Okay, let's change sides. Okay, so now I'm crossing my left over my right. Now, Again, right as you cross it over, if this is your stretch here, awesome, own it, you're doing amazing. Press your, your left leg away if you need. Kind of deepen that a little. If you want a little more, reach through, pulling. Oh, there. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Pull that right thigh in. Breathing here. If you want to go a little deeper again, use your left elbow to press your left knee away. So it's an opposition. I'm pulling my right thigh in, but pressing my left knee away. Oh, back is flat into the ground. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right, releasing that. Get a little bit of momentum. Wonderful. And just come on up. We're going to do a little butterfly stretch, having the soles of your feet together, hinging forward. Now, what I am not doing is I am not pulling my head into my feet. I'm keeping my back flat and long, and I'm hinging right from my hips, hinging it forward. Just breathe here for a quick moment. You did so good today. We felt that heat. Ah, oh, yeah. Next workout is strong and long. Are you ready to get strong and long? It's going to be fun. <laughs> long and strong. All right, coming on up. We're going to have our feet on either side of our mat, so we're going to have nice wide legs. I want you to cross your elbows if you can. If this is too much for you, then you're welcome to have your hands on your thighs. But I want you to hinge forward, stretching out through the spine, stretching out the whole back side of your body. You should feel this through your hamstrings, into your calves, all the way up into your glutes. Wonderful. Bend your knees slightly, hands on your thighs, rolling it up nice and slow. Head is always going to come up last. No lightheadedness on my watch. Wonderful. Palms together, reaching your fingertips away from you, tucking your chin to your chest. We are opening up in behind our shoulder blades here. 
This is a delicious back stretch. Oh, we all spend so much time hunched over our computers, hunched over our phones. Open up that back. Wonderful. We're going to reverse that. Clasp your fingers behind your, behind your back. Pull your knuckles down to the ground, standing tall and proud, opening through the chest. And just know every time you show up, every time you press play, it doesn't matter how you do with it. Even if you need to modify, you need to take some breaks, you crush it, it doesn't matter. You show up. You're doing good for you. I am proud of you, and I want you to feel proud of yourself. Shake it out. Take a nice big deep breath. And I will see you in the next workout.